Number 10, you're going to draw your own uh, picture and use the trig ratios to solve for the missing information here. So it says from a point 80 miles, that should be miles, from the base of the tower, the angle of elevation to the top of the tower is 80, 28 degrees. How tall is the tower? Okay, so this is the tower. Let's just draw this right here. Uh, this can be the tower. Okay, let me just label here. This is the tower, okay? And we know that if this is from a point from the base, so right here, this is from the base, right? And they say that this is 80 miles or 80, it should be 80 miles, okay? And there is an angle from the, the angle of elevation to the top which is going to be 28 degrees. If we draw the person here, we notice that the 80, which is adjacent, the height of the tower, which is going to be our opposite, and then the 20 to 28 degrees is our angle. So this is tanned because it's TOA, right? TOA. So tan of 20, let me write that better. Tan of 28 degrees is equal to the opposite over height, no, TOA, opposite over adjacent. So 10 of 28 is equal to the H over 80. So we cross multiply to just get 80 times 10, 28, which is equal to H. So we can now plug this into a calculator to get an approximation, 80, times 10, 28, which is 42 point, let's say five, if I round it to the nearest 10th, okay? The units MIN should have been miles, so it's 42.5, right, MIN tall, okay? All right, next, a ladder is leaning against the side of a building, so here is the, uh, Here's the building, okay, the building, okay, and then here is the ladder, okay, and there is the, from the floor, which is right here, okay, and we know that the ladder is 20 feet, so this is 20 feet and then from the ground it is what uh, 75 degrees so this is 75 degrees and they say how far is the bottom of the ladder to the base so this is the bottom to the base right this is bottom and this is the base so we're looking for this x here all right so let's draw that person we draw that person at the angle okay we have the hypotenuse, which is H, and this is your adjacent side. So we have A and H, which is your cosine, right? Ka, right? So cosine of 75 is gonna be adjacent over hypotenuse. Cosine of 75 is equal to our X, which is our adjacent, hypotenuse, which is 20. We cross multiply to get the X alone, so it's 20 cosine 75 is equal to x. Plug this into the calculator to get a, pro a approximation. So 20 cosine 75, it is 5.1 or 5.7, 5.2, uh, and the units here is feet. Okay, so this distance is about 5.2 feet from the bottom to the base, all right? And then let's do C. A wire is attached to the top of a tower. So let's just draw that tower here. Here is our tower. And then here is the ground. Oh, let me make a better ground. There is our ground. And then it, it the ground is 34 meters away from the tower. So 35 meters if the wire makes an angle with the ground. So here is gonna be the wire, right? 
Okay, that is the water, and then it makes a 65 degree angle with the ground. We want to see how long is the wire, which is the hypotenuse here. Okay, here we draw that person. Their 35 would be its adjacent, and we want hypotenuse, so that is cosine. So we know cosine of our angle, which is 65 degrees, is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. Cosine of 65 is going to be equal to 35 over h. Cross multiply, it's h times cosine 65 is equal to 35. We divide both sides by cosine 65. This cancels, cosine 65 divided by cosine 65 is 1. So h is equal to 35 over cosine 65, which is approximately, if you plug that into the calculator, 35 divided by cosine 65. That gets you approximately 82.81, so 8 meters long. So that is the length of the wire. So there you go. That is how you um, use your trig ratios to solve for a missing piece in an application problem.